Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Let's start off with reading some of Nicole State's latest reviews. Just to remind you guys, Whatnot no longer allows sellers to delete reviews, so the honesty and the truth cannot be hidden. Okay, 4.2 stars. I should have read the show notes before bidding, so that's my fault, but still disappointing that I paid so much for one book valued less than $5 that's part of a set of books. Glad the host gave me a little card holder wallet as a freebie to make it feel not like a total loss. Very kind of the host. To clarify, the host did nothing wrong. I should have read the rules. Still doesn't make me and happier about the purchase. So if the item that you got is valued less than $5, and yeah, that is the host's fault because she said her floor is $5, right? Um, but at least you take responsibility for bidding and not knowing, you know, exactly what you're bidding on. Four stars. Over two weeks to receive. I played the game, wanted item for a gift, but didn't get it in time for my birthday. Why is it taking her two weeks? That's insane. That is insane. Do not believe her when she says, oh, I have shipping problems. No, the shipping problems, it's, it's you. It's you. You're the problem. You're the problem. You don't this review is actually terrifying, and I feel like somebody needs to let this person know just what kind of person Nicole State really is. So it's a five-star review, and it says, this is the first site, and it will be my last site to participate in. It's the long way of saying I'm here for the long haul. I'm just one. This one will stand by her. This one will buy when I can, and she understand that and wholeheartedly expresses this to us. Keep bringing it. What? That's fucking creepy. Three stars. I didn't get a boa card holder, BOA card holder. I don't know what that is. Instead, a cheap Mickey Mouse card holder that isn't lounge fly. Hmm. Somebody didn't get what they were supposed to get. That's normal. Everyday occurrence. Literally everyday fucking occurrence. And now on to Jen Deals because somebody sent me screenshots. She's got a couple of new bad reviews. This is two stars. I ordered soap and never received. I got lotion that I didn't order and it was broken all over the package. Jen, how long have you been selling Bath and Body Works for? She lied, by the way, in one of her live streams. One of you guys sent me a clip where Jen said she's been on Whatnot for three years. <laughs> she's been on Whatnot for two years, like next month or two years in September because she started a couple months after I did. And if I was still on there, I would have only been on there two years this year. So, um, but yeah, you have been selling it for how long and you still don't know how to package stuff properly? Like, come on. Here's three stars. Taping the lids of the perfume, it would have been nice. They sprayed all over the packaging. The label on the bottle was coming off in my hands. I lost one fourth of my sprays. Guys, I did three, two or three Bath and Body Works shows. I did them as a joke to show Jen Deals that literally anyone can sell Bath and Body Works. It's not rocket science, but I was able to ship stuff properly. Nobody had a complaint. Nothing broke in the mail and I sold over a hundred things. So still don't know though. Is it stupidity or is it laziness? I don't know. Okay, going into my Instagram DMs. This person said, here goes Ladybug with her BS again, selling fake Gymshark shocks. Ha ha ha, the tag and people were buying them. I talked about this person before. I don't remember. Guys, there's so many fucking scammers. It's literally hard to keep track of them all. I don't remember what she was selling, but here's some screenshots. Ladybug picker. I definitely remember talking about her. I don't remember exactly what she was selling that wasn't real, but yeah, these are... Gym shark shock shock sh gym shark socks that uh, are not really gym shark socks because look at that tag that's not a gym shark tag no okay here's a new name I've never seen before have you gotten any complaints about voltage electronics this is my second time purchasing from them the first time was almost a year ago it was a ring light and it was broken this time I paid almost a hundred dollars on a robot vacuum only because he opened it on screen and it was literally new and then she sent me pictures which clearly that's not a new vacuum. <laughs> So did he open a new one on screen and then send her a gross, dirty, used one? That's what it looks like. And then here's a message that she sent. What part of this makes you think it's new? Gross. I usually just talking about people in the clothing category, the luxe category, but now I'm going to be talking about people in the comic book category because there's some shit going on there. Um, and it looks like electronics too. doesn't matter the category that people are in. If you guys know that there's a scammer out there doing bad things, I will talk about them. Hi, I love your YouTube content and you've definitely helped me stay away from scammers. I was scrolling on Whatnot and see a seller with so much newer style Lululemon and Aloe. The Whatnot name is Golden Moo. I hate to assume that it's stolen, but how can you have so much of the newer style? I've seen a lot of other Whatnot sellers buying from this person and selling the items on their shows too. I just wanted to share the name and wonder if anyone else has noticed anything sketchy. If somebody has a lot of Lululemon new with tags, newer styles, I raise an eye because First of all, you can't get Lululemon like in bulk wholesale newer styles. Okay, newer styles, that part's important. So anyone that has new and tags, Lululemon stuff, in bulk, newer styles, and aloe too. I raise an eyebrow. But yeah, this particular person, Golden Moo, I have never seen any of their shows. I will have to watch one of their shows and then I guess let you guys know my opinion. But if anyone has had any experience with this person, comment down below and let me know or you can send me a message. All right, hi, fairly new to the reselling game, but was instantly confused who this Nicole State was that everyone was willing to pay six times the price of what she was selling. I found your YouTube videos and was happy to see I clearly wasn't the only one who felt something was off. 
Anyways, I was in her show watching the other day and won a giveaway. Was was shown and promised a lounge fly in Golden Book. Eventually, I received my prize, but it was a different random book. Knowing that I left a one-star review because you can't leave zero, I'd be blocked. I reached out to whatnot to see what was up. I was floored when they responded with, we've tried to reach this seller, but can't, so here's $10. <laughs> Ultimately, I don't really care more. So just on principle and good ethics, like how is this possible? You can't get a hold of the seller. I know they could get a hold of her easily. Seems fishy and honestly annoying. Just that I shared debating messaging Nicole to see what she'd say. It is definitely possible that Whatnot tried to reach out to her and Nicole just isn't responding. Um, that definitely is the case. Or, or they could be protecting her. I honestly do not know at this point. I really don't. But yeah, I would message her just to see what she says. She's gonna come up with some bullshit excuse. She's gonna be like, oh, my shipping team or oh, the post office. It's gonna be some bullshit excuse to so be prepared for that. But for shits and giggles, you should message her and then let me know what she says. Okay, this comment is really fucking funny. This person said, ha, Nicole just said she has a mole in her mods and it's an ongoing investigation. Now mods have to sign an NDA. Are you fucking kidding me? First of all, you're not Beyonce, okay? People that have people sign NDAs, it's like, it's for a reason. You're like a celebrity or doing some shady shit and you don't want everyone to know. Like, well, I wanna know who would be stupid enough to sign a fucking NDA with Nicole State. I wanna know, I wanna know. Is it Brie? I bet Brie did. Brie's currently Nicole State's biggest hemorrhoid. One day, hopefully, hopefully one day she'll see the light. A lot of her ex hemorrhoids have contacted me and they have said, hey, you were right, you were right. I didn't want to believe that you were right, but you were right all along. You know, I didn't like you. I didn't like your videos. I thought you were a bitch bashing her, blah, 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 but you were right. A lot of them have said that. If you're the mole and you're watching this video, you should contact me. I will 100% keep you anonymous, but I'd love to know what you know. So I got on Reddit this morning and saw this post. It's about El Husuba, which you guys have told me to talk about this person, persons, it's a group of people, I guess, because they've been doing some crazy shit. Somebody posted a screenshot of their Whatnot account and it looks like they're suspended, which is a good thing. Good job, Whatnot, for doing something right for once or maybe twice, maybe, maybe, maybe a couple times you've done something right a couple times. But I guess they went right over to Poshmark and did a show. I guess they started on Poshmark first and then came to Whatnot, but they were doing um, a show on Poshmark, but I will make a video dedicated to them because there's so much content and I was watching one of their shows the other day. I'm like, these people, this is fucking crazy. Like this is crazy, crazy, crazy. That's it for this video. Again, if there is someone or something going on that you want me to talk about, you can send me a message on Instagram or you can email me. And yes, I will keep you anonymous. As always, comment down below and let me know your thoughts. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.